episode of Animal Mating Rituals. I'm your host, Gersh Cousin. Today we're out at Plum Beach to do a little story about the mating rituals of the horseshoe crab. Yes, indeed, this prehistoric creature, he's about 420 million years old, has some pretty peculiar proclivities out here on the beach. Let's go check him out and meet some of the researchers who have spent their lives trying to understand how these animals do it. As you can see, there's a male, he's latched on. He's latched on pretty good to that female. There's another male over there who's trying to get in on the action. Let's go check with one of the researchers and find out if this is common behavior. Yeah, group sex is common behavior among the horseshoe crabs. This one is uh, just a one-on-one -on -one monogamous relationship, but usually there are three or four or five males sometimes uh, having uh, can I say the word sex with uh, with the female? You can say the word I sex. I just said it, and I'm going to say it again. Now, what is it about group sex that, that really drives these horseshoe crabs into a frenzy? Why do they like that kind of action? Well, you know, the whole idea of any animal king, to any animal is to uh, procreate and leave their young behind. So that's how you perpetuate these animals that have been going on for 420 million years. That's a long, that's a long run. And the more males that we have attempting to fertilize a female, the better the chance of that these eggs will be fertilized. That makes a lot of sense in the animal kingdom. What about with humans, doctor? I can't talk about my sex life. Thank you. <laughs> and now I've got what I came for. Here it is, some group sex on the beach. Let's see if we can pan down. We got two males latched onto a female who's burrowing. She's obviously laying some eggs. And you see this male on the left, he's trying to get some action up top. This is, I gotta just talk to the doctor, find out what's actually going on here. Well, I'm seeing a, a pair in mating and, and, a, and a third, a second male coming along and trying to uh, get into the action. Many times it's, it's not the one that's on top, the male that's on top that's fertilizing the eggs, but the one along the side of it. Some species we call them sneaker males, but uh, he may have greater access to, to her eggs than the, than the guy on top. Now again, is there a human parallel to this? Yes, there is, but I'm not allowed to talk about it. Oh. Finally, the good doctor allowed me a chance to see the actual genitals of one of these historic creatures. Oh, there it is. I'm, right, seeing, wait, wait, I'm wait. seeing sex organs. Am are I, you, am you, I yeah, seeing yeah, sex organs? Yeah. Wanna hold it open up? Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. Get in there. In there. Oh, please. Yeah. Right. Can we keep this clean? Can I? Can we keep me clean? You bring out the animal. This is right. naughty. So this is good. Oh, this, this is, is wrong. Good. Give me a little light in there. Okay, there. Oh, see? There it is. Oh, yeah. Is this going to go all over me? What is it? There, is see that white stuff coming yeah. out? Yeah, oh yeah. There's yeah. Right. That's uh, semen. Is sperm. there a human parallel to yes, that? Yes, there is. <laughs> yes, there is. They only mate once a year? Once a year. And you said they don't become sexually active until the middle of their lives. That's right. When they're 10 years old, they become sexually mature. So you're telling me these animals will have sex 10 times in their life. <laughs> is there a human parallel to that? I'm not allowed to talk about it. <laughs> I'm told this is the high time for mating season. Let's go see if we can see some action on the beach. Well, I gotta say I've enjoyed my time at Jamaica Bay watching the mating rituals of the horseshoe crab. I'm Gersh Kunstman for Animal Mating Rituals. Join us next month when our topic will be cows. Join us. <laughs>